Hello there and a happy new year to you. Welcome to 2024. Now I know that a new year brings new hopes, new visions, um, new opportunities for many people. For some actually, it's depressing because you're wondering, um, here comes another year, how am I sure it's going to have go, um, things are going to go the way I want? Last year, I hoped this was going to happen. I wanted this to happen, but it didn't happen. But let me quickly say to you that you have the God-given ability to make of your year whatever you choose it to be. You have that God-given ability. And you know, sometimes people say things like, um, let's stop deceiving ourselves, all these New Year resolutions, all these New Year goals and all dress and all dress. No, it's not deception. It's not deception. You see, Every new year comes with new opportunities, the, op the, the privilege, the opportunity to reset our lives, um, redefine our goals, redefine what we want to achieve and accomplish, obviously as inspired by the Spirit of God and commit to it. Now, it's important for you to know that nothing happens by just wishing it. It's important for you to know that things happen because um, we follow certain laid down principles and laws. If we can decipher what these laws are, discover the laws, and then give ourselves to engaging these laws, the truth is that we will get the results. I want to start out day one, you see, because this is a five-day devotional. It's an e-devotional. It's not going to be so long, not too bulky, quick material that you can run with for a day. And um, you'll find out that the lessons over these five days will be very useful for the rest of the year. I want to start out um, this teaching on how to have a great year, which really I'm talking about the laws of super achievement, how to be a super achiever, how to produce unprecedented, uncommon results. I know you had great results in 2023, but God wants you to have greater results, unprecedented, uncommon results. God wants you to be a super achiever, not just an achiever. You know, the Bible talks about being more than conquerors. So we can be more than achievers. We can actually be super achievers. And the first thing to note, if you're going to have a great year, if you're going to um, be a super achiever this year, is to understand that success and life is governed by laws and principles. In essence, um, it has nothing to do with God, um, you know, somebody being God's favorite. It has nothing to do with, you know, luck and all the rest. You know, many people think that um, this guy is lucky, that person is lucky. No, a million times no. God designed the world to be governed by laws and principles. Now, there are spiritual laws and there are natural laws. Now, both of them, whether you're a believer or not, has an impact on your life. I, I always would put it this way. Many years ago, I heard a preacher say something very powerful, and he blessed me. He said, there's a difference between the person of Jesus and the principles of Jesus. Many times we romance the person of Jesus and we negate, neglect the principles of Jesus. The interesting thing is that the person of Jesus is what creates depth, spiritual depth in our lives. But the principles of Jesus is what produces success in our lives. And so we have to discern, discover what these principles are. And the interesting thing about principles is that they are not Christian. You see, so you find somebody who does not even know the Lord, but knows his principles and then lives by the principles and is producing results. And you're wondering, but this person does not know the Lord. And that's because laws and principles are non-partisan. Laws and principles are non-partial. I always will put it this way. Um, whoever you are, whether you're the king of a kingdom, the president of a nation, the wealthiest man in any country, whoever you are, I hope you know that if you jump up, you will come down. And the reason is very simple. Gravity is the same thing anywhere on the face of the earth. Does not discriminate. Does not, um, you know, does not um, decide who to work for and who, do, who it won't work for. The law of gravity works on everybody the exact same way. The second thing about the law is that it makes life predictable. And what do I mean by it makes life predictable? Um, if it happened by a law, then it simply means that if I find and discover that law, then I'm able to reproduce the results that the person had. There's no need 
competing or comparing yourself with anybody. No, every success, please note this, every success, every progress you see on the face of the earth is based on either intentionally obeying a law or adhering to, and by a law, I'm not talking about moral law, I'm talking about the principles that governs the universe. Obeying the law, adhering to the law, whether intentional or accidental, you see, because sometimes people accidentally stumble into, um, you know, um, 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 fulfilling these laws, aligning with these laws and these principles, and they get the results. But always, anytime you see any level of success, any level of progress in the kingdom of God and on the face of the earth is because certain laws have been discovered and certain laws have been fulfilled. And so one of the things I want you to make up your mind is that 2024, you're going to live a principle-centered life. And by principle-centered life, I mean that you're going to live a life that's based on certain principles. You've discovered these laws. What are these laws? And then you are giving yourself to, um, you know, the fulfillment of those laws. Now, I, I gave this example once and, um, I said every major advancement, every major progress you've seen on the face, we've seen on the face of the earth is simply because somebody discovered a law. Somebody discovered the law of electricity. Today we have power everywhere. Somebody discovered um, um, the law of gravity, the laws of motion. Now, do you realize that before the law was discovered, people were moving? In essence, people were moving from one place to another, transporting from one place to another, even before the law was discovered. But pleasurable and timely progress was based on the discovery of the law. So prior to the discovery of the law, and then, you know, people started learning how to build cars based on the law, and then fly planes and all the rest. If you wanted to move from point A to point B, it took you maybe 10 hours. But now with a car, it probably would take you 30 minutes, one hour. With a plane, much slower. Now, question is, Will you get to your destination eventually? Yes. But it's going to take you longer. It's going to exert you a lot more. So now you have progress, but it's not pleasurable and it's not timely. The only way to have pleasurable and timely progress in life is that you discover the laws that governs that area of life. And one of the adventures of Christianity, in fact, one of the greatest responsibilities of a teaching ministry is to open your eyes to unseen laws that govern seen results. Let me say that again. One of the greatest responsibilities of a teaching ministry is to open your eyes to unseen laws that govern seen results. Many times people um, envy the results of people, of others, without searching for the laws that produce that result. My prayer for you in 2024 is that the Spirit of God will bring you to a personal acknowledgement, a personal revelation of the laws that matter in the, um, in the visions that he has given to you, the areas of life that he has called you into. That's my prayer for you because once your eyes are open to this law and then th these principles and then you um, begin to adjust your life in accordance to them, you begin to live in accordance with these principles, you find out that you start producing results beyond what is normal. Now, let me quickly say this here. Whilst there may be principles that the Holy Spirit will bring to you, laws that the Holy Ghost will bring to you, there are generic laws that everyone who must have some certain level of results and progress, some certain level of uh, measure of progress, must know. And that's what I want to share with you over the next couple of days. From tomorrow, I'm going to start sharing with you about these laws one by one. And that's why you have to be here. Same time, the video is going to be released at the same time. Make sure you bookmark, you bookmark this page. Make sure you, you subscribe. Make sure, I mean, uh, um, um, you hit the notification bell. So the moment the video is available, um, you're able to dive in. Tomorrow, we're going to dive in fully into what these laws are. Thank you and cheers to a great year.